All right, guys, I thought I would do one last setting strategies and team makeup video for the end of the year to show you guys what I'm using for the rest of the year. So we're going to start with how your team is made up. Nothing really changes here. Uh, righties on the left and lefties on the right. There's a very few select players that um, can take advantage of players playing on their strong side. Uh, the majority, it's not really going to work out for you. It's something that you've got to perfect. And lefties on the right and righties on the left is how um, you know you're gonna excel as best you can here. On defense, other than my first line here, I have two righties, but that's just how my team is made because I have an all-time Sharks build. Same thing, opposite left and right. So let's jump into the settings uh, now. What I want to show you guys is just the, um, the camera I use. So I use auto zoom off and then camera I use is zone. The three cameras that you could use are classic overhead and zone. I prefer zone because you can see all three. When the puck is down behind the goal line, you can see all three zones, the neutral zone um, you know, in uh, at the point and then um, behind the net gives you kind of a further back perspective. Overhead is literally just overhead, so sometimes it can uh, you can miss some things and then classic is a little bit more zoomed in overhead so um zone is what i prefer any of those three options though is whatever you guys want to go with as far as controller settings go make sure auto backskates off if you do use it um you need to get used to not using it uh, holding l2 de when defending the play is much more effective when it comes to online pass assist uh 100 is supposedly the best. I always keep it at 99 just because it's in my head that 100 kind of makes it a mess, but it does control how far or how many pixels and frames the player um, that's receiving the puck can actually receive it cleanly. So let's jump into settings. So when we're st when I'm starting a game, if regardless if I know who I'm playing, well, if I don't know who I'm playing, 100% um, all passive. And the reason for it is... Um, something I've said all throughout the whole year is that there is no one setting strat that's going to work for everyone. You need to adjust to what the opponent is doing. And if for the most part, your settings are just crushing someone then don't change anything. But for the, when those games where you're losing by quite a bit, he keeps burning you the same way you need to adjust. So what I do is I go one, two, two, passive one, four, zero trap, defend, lead, protect net and tight point. The reason I do tight point is because collapsing and protect net combined leaves this big gaping wide wide open time and space at the point and point shots are kind of OP, especially in hut with 99 slap shot accuracy and power at this stage of the game. So tight point kind of puts some pressure on there. You can switch to the winger that's pressuring them and uh, kind of break that up. Uh, for penalty kill, passive box, so you don't overcommit. Power play, I use a shooting. I find that overload on the power play is completely useless and never works. Control breakout, strong side slant. That's the one that allows you to do the slap pass up the boards. I can show you that in a future video if you haven't. It's also in my How to Suck Less videos as well. Quick breakout, leave zone early. That's the one you want to use in, co in combination with the strong side slant. So you can slap it up the boards and, uh, and send your guy in a breakaway. Uh, for the forward lines, it's all overload. Nothing really changes here. For energy and efficiency, I just leave it at 5. I've tried it at 10, tried it at 0. I don't really find a big enough uh, difference in any of them. So I also put it at 10 to block just because, you know, I don't know. I find that it doesn't really inf impact the game all that much. And then there is some times where your D-man will literally just lie down and block shots. Pull, pinch and hold the line. I keep it in the middle. Again, just to play safe. Now, when you're playing someone that is better than you or someone you need to put pressure on, you need, this is what I change to mid-game. Mid-game. Okay, guys? Um, or if it's tied and the game's really close and in the second period, go completely the other way because they've played you a certain way and they are expecting you to do a certain style. When you change to the complete opposite, it really messes with people. So I do 2-3 on the 4 check, allows two people to pressure on the right up on the puck in the, new, in the uh, offensive zone. 1-2-2 two, two right in the neutral zone. This is going to allow you to um, switch to a player and put pressure on them immediately as they're coming up the ice with the puck. All the way for four check from trap defense offensive pressure. This controls um, how aggressive they are on the rush with you. Um, I never go full out just because sometimes it'll leave you where your defensemen are just completely flat footed and you get breakaways against. Protect net and tight point. I leave that the same unless they're doing short side wristers only. They're not using their points. They're just down low trying to get something in the middle. Switch it to collapsing. That will clog the neutral zone and stop that for you guys. 
So guys, those are the settings and whatnot I am using for the rest of the year. Again, it is all about adjustments, and if you have any questions about the kinds of adjustments I'm talking about, just let me know in the comments section down below or on Twitter at No Sleeves Gaming. You can also watch me live Monday to Friday, uh, anywhere from like 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern is my start time till about 10 or 11, and uh, I'll be happy to answer any of your guys' questions. So you guys have a good one. I'm No Sleeves 12. Peace out, guys.